What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger. Today, we're with Saltwater Sports Magazine, here to teach you how to fillet sheep's head. Sheep's head are known for having human-like teeth. They've got these gnarly teeth, and they even have molars. And what they do is, on seawall legs, there's barnacles all over them and they're using those teeth to scrape those barnacles off of them and munch them. So if you're fishing a dock and want to catch a sheep's head, bring a paddle, knock those barnacles off, get them fired up, and then drop some crustaceans down. And you'll land yourself a beautiful sheep like this. Sheep's head skin is like armor, and a lot of people have trouble filleting it because of that. We're gonna show you a couple of easy steps that make filleting sheep's head very easy. The scales on these sheep's head are extraordinarily tough. What you want to do is take your knife and slide underneath those scales, giving yourself a good starting point. Then twist your knife around and you can attack the first cut from inside out. See how easy that slides down? If you try to start here and work your way up with your blade from the outside in, that is where people get caught up and have a lot of trouble filleting sheep's head. But now that you have that opening from those first two motions, filleting them is gonna be like anything else. Run your knife along the skeleton, pulling back as you go, making sure your knife is flush with those bones so you don't lose any of that delicious sheep's head meat. Now that we're at the center, right here is where the rib bones are. And those rib bones are connected to the pin bones. So you wanna take the tip of your knife, angle your blade slightly up, and separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now that you separated the connection the pin bones make to the ribs, you can slide down those rib bones super easy. Let those rib bones guide your knife. The rib bones are easier to cut through. You want to just be gently scraping it, kind of like you're skinning a fish, but you don't want your knife to cut through the fish skin you'll be left with a skeleton that looks like this with absolutely no meat lost. Now I flip it over, repeat the process. We're gonna pick up the fin. We're gonna, instead of going like this, we're gonna go like this. Slide our knife in between those scales. That's important tip one. Important tip two, tip of the knife right at that opening, follow all the way down. Now I use my fingers to push on the skeleton a little bit. It lifts it up for the second side. I can rest my knife right on that skeleton, making sure I don't lose any of that delicious sheep's head meat. Now that I'm at the center, tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up. Separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. And now I can just start sliding down those rib bones. All those rib bones are left on the skeleton instead of having to cut them out after. You're left with a rack that you can read a magazine through. The only bones that are left in this fillet are gonna be the pin bones, because we went over the ribs and there's no bones over here. But we've got this membrane from the stomach lining. On a lot of fish, it's edible. On sheep's head, it is edible. But because they're coming out of brackish water, I personally take it off looks prettier, and that is absolutely phenomenal fish right there. We're gonna shave off the membrane on that side too. When it comes to the next step, it depends what you're gonna do with your fillets. If you're gonna grill your sheep's head, I highly recommend leaving the skin on and cooking it on the half shell. For those of you that don't know, on the half shell is southern for skin and scales on, skin side down, meat side up, season it however you like, throw it on the grill, skin side down, close your grill. When it's fully cooked, the meat slides off the skin and the skin and scales help protect the meat and hold in all those juices. So if we're gonna do that, we're gonna just outline the pin bone on both sides. And instead of cutting all the way through the skin, we're gonna rest our knife on top of the skin and shave those bones out. That way we didn't break through the skin so none of your fire is going to be hitting that meat when you do sheep's head on the half shell. Now, if you're gonna skin your sheep's head, what you wanna do is get a good grip on the tail, angle your knife down, get a good starting point. Once you're in there, you get a good grip on that skin, flatten your knife out a little bit. We're gonna show you why you want a little bit of a flatter knife instead of totally angled down. And there it is. The red that's left on the skin is not on the meat. We did not lose any of the white meat on the skin, 
we just remove the red meat off of the filet. Then we're gonna remove the pin bone line, dip right on one side, dip right on the other side, lift it up, separate at the base, and now you've got a beautiful, boneless, skinless sheep's head filet ready for the pan. You guys, thanks so much for subscribing to Saltwater Sportsman Magazine. Hope you all have a killer day.